Sweet dreams flash away <laughs> we have to go over this uh we haven't really been doing news every week like we usually did but this cannot be passed over uh before we get into murder madness scream 7 has been confirmed confirmed now uh, Nev Campbell's returning. Uh, Kevin Williamson's directing it. Mm-hmm. Was there anything else that happened since then? Did I miss anything? Or that's, uh, that's all I've heard of. But okay. That seems like quite a bit. Uh, yeah, that's quite a bit because there's a lot of connotations now to Scream Seven coming back. Uh, Nev Campbell's return is no longer as favorable as it it was, you know, a few months ago. <laughs> Well, they did the one thing that they could do to get all those people who said they were going to boycott this movie to go buy tickets to this movie. Um, it, it, the the thing that, that this has now become uh, is just a blatant cash grab for everyone uh, there. Really? Yes. I, yes. I don't think so. Spyglass I, knew they had to lay out all the money they could to get the movie in theater so they could make all that money. Nev Campbell didn't do part six because they weren't going to pay her enough money. Now she got the money she wants, so she's coming back. No, it's a wait, cash grab all the way around, Mikey. But Paramount's putting this out now, not Spyglass, is what Paramount, I heard. I don't know if that was confirmed. Paramount, I think, is the distributor. Spyglass is still the production company. Yeah. Spyglass is still making this movie. I heard so, and again, there the screen. We've talked about it several times. The screen rumors on this. I, I can guarantee you, Spyglass is still making this movie. It's been, I believe it was mentioned you. in several articles. I believe you. I'm just saying, like it was all over the place. So, like what you heard and what actually happened, and people speculating, like it's been a fucking whirlwind. Um, but well, there's no speculation on my part. Everybody, no, 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 no. And look, there's nothing wrong with that. I've said it a million times. I would sell out if I had anything somebody was buying. <laughs> but is it a sellout though? They they got Kevin yeah. Williamson. She said she would come back under the right circumstances. Yeah, the circumstances being they give me enough money. <laughs> but Kevin Williamson being a vi- I don't think that's, that's an accident. Not a, you keep acting like that's a great sign. Kevin Williamson directing is not a great sign. I'm sorry. I saw teaching Miss Tingle. I understand, and I and I there are it is a very real thing. For a director writing something and a writer directing something being a concern because they are very different tasks. Uh, uh, agreed. And I am confused about the the writing because from what I read, they're still using the script that Guy Busick wrote. I'm not mad Williamson's at that. Williamson's not writing this thing as far as I have seen. But we talked to, to Guy and he was, Kevin Williamson was heavily involved when they were writing the, what year did that come out? 2020, 2021, I don't, I don't, I don't. whenever the Scream 5 came out. He was very involved in that. I mean, now he's literally in the, he's the director of it. He's going to be heavily involved in the process of writing this too, but it's the story they began. So it seems like it's getting back to closer to what 5 was. Yep. That's why I'm not. I mean, I'm just all. saying he wrote and directed Teaching Miss Tingle, and I saw that motherfucker, and it was not good. <laughs> Yeah, but man, there is no one behind a camera that will put more passion into a screen project other than Wes Craven than Kevin Williamson. It's just that the truth. that might be true, yeah. but it takes more than passion to know how you're to direct right. a movie. You got to know what the fuck yeah. you're doing. It's a concern. It's a concern, but I, 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 that's the guy to other than Wes Craven. That's the guy you go to when you need to know anything about making a screen movie. So. I, I have high hopes of that. And dude, the, the problem was that Spyglass, they were treating their the people involved in their project poorly, obviously, the whole Barrera thing. But I don't I don't think it takes away from Nev Campbell, man. She stood firm. She got what she wanted, and that was the problem in the first place. They're do, she wanted them to do it right. And she wanted more money, sure, but she didn't she didn't want anything about it had nothing to do with them doing it right. The reason she wasn't in six. She said they weren't paying her enough money. She now said they're paying her enough money. This is a cash grab. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. When she announced she didn't come back, she did say there were other reasons. 
how we don't know, man. We don't know. And I'm not mad. Nev Campbell being back is a good sign. Kevin Williamson directing is a good sign. That's where we differ. I, I don't think it's a good sign that he's directing. It's a question mark for sure. But who else would do it? Who else could you get to do it? Who is better suited to direct that than him? Well, they had the guy that was most suited to do it in Christopher Landon, and they ran him off. Well, we don't know that. I was happy when they mentioned when they announced Christopher Landon. So maybe it's better this way. Maybe it's not. But it could be great. It could be bad. It could be great. That's what anything coming back. I, I think he's best for the job. I, for the record, I'm not going to watch it until it hits streaming. Uh, really? I'm still mad. Yeah. It, I, that and it's depends. Put me, it's put me in a really difficult spot because I... I have been on the record as not liking Sam Carpenter as a character and they've put me in a situation where they shifted a movie that was going to be about like uh, one of my least favorite Scream characters to potentially one of my all-time favorite Scream characters, uh, Sidney Prescott, which is what I had wanted, but they've given it to me in a way where now I feel like I have to back up my support of Melissa Barrera because I'm still pissed about that. They didn't fix the thing that I was mad at Spyglass for. And we talked about this when it first came up that a lot of people, if they could pay out Niv Campbell, a lot of people were going to forget that they were mad. I don't forget shit. I'm still mad, Spyglass. That's not all it would have took for me. The Kevin Williamson thing's a big deal to me. And... I still think they did Barrera dirty. I mean, I went on rants about that, but I, I, I hope that they can do enough right here and bring her back like that. That's if she comes back, that would be great for this. If they get Melissa Barrera back, I will quit being mad at them. But Kat, what if they release it in 3d? No, <laughs> <laughs> that's not enough. I mean, I was going to go see it regardless. You know, I'm not I'll a boycott see it. person. I, I know I'll yeah. fucking see it. I'm not going to be one of those people who's like, I'm never going to see it. And then who goes to see it? I, I will see this. But I was going to see it no matter what. Yeah. But I my expectations for this movie are pretty low. Uh, mine raised. I, I, it feels, th- but doesn't it feel thrown together at this point, Mikey? Like no. they're not really following a plan or anything that was drawn out. They're scraping and scrounging to get a Scream movie out there. I feel like they're regrouping. Cause it was cause they, they pushed it back. They they were set on a date for like a little while or something, and they didn't want to move it. And then they finally moved it. it. It feels like they're. It feels like Spyglass is loosening its reins a little bit on this thing, and that that's what needed to happen. And giving Kevin Williamson a, like that. To, to hand a director spot over, but the, the Christopher Landon thing, as much as I love Christopher Landon, they he's a, had to hand it over because they chased off their director. <laughs> and no one else was dumb enough to want it to. Yeah, that's not I, a that's, good thing, Mikey. It, it's a good thing that they did it. That's what needed to happen. There was, or just don't uh-uh. make a screen movie. That's what needed to happen. <laughs> no, that's not what needed to happen. That's 100% what needed to happen. No, they needed to loosen the reins. It, it, it's the whole rights thing. And we've had the conversation a million times. The Jeepers Creepers thing is, you know, similar as far as rights. What do you do? You have to, people are mad that people bought what's his name out of those rights. It's like, well, legally that has to happen. You're damned. If you do, you're damned. If you don't in certain situations or, and, or, and follow me here, they could have just never made any more Jeepers Creepers movies. It's not like they've made anything good with it anyway. That's yes. true. First of all, they could have not made any more Jeepers Creepers movies. And second of all, it's completely different because the money in like buying him out, it made a lot of people mad, but now profits don't go to him anymore, which is what needed to happen. Profits are still going to go to Spyglass. They're still making the movie. They can let go of creative control, but it doesn't undo the damage that they did to their director or their actresses. And the money still goes to them. Like it's a totally different thing. The money they would have made. I will say this anyone who says they support melissa barrera and they still plan on going to see scream better goddamn good and well get out to the theater and buy a ticket to see abigail yes yeah yeah that's true also just because abigail looks awesome agreed with that as well but that's the thing you're damned if you do you're damned if you don't 
they would have made bank on scream rights bank and not only that they, they were in a in a lose lose too because now the name is tainted anyone who picked it up would have just inherited that bullshit so one way or another if you're going to make a movie something has to be done and yeah money's still going to them but money would have went to them anyway like that's what they I'm saying. had an offer on the table from us they, they didn't take it. That's on them. They didn't take it. We, what we offer them? 20 bucks and a six pack of Lone Star or something? And yeah. two of the sweet baby Jesuses. That's right. <laughs> but I think Kat went ahead and drank all the Lone Star. So, well, yeah, they didn't get back to me fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it, but I, I never got caught up in the whole, you know, not supporting Spyglass. No, like it was fucked up what they did, sure. But I expect every company that makes every movie that we see and every company that we buy anything from, corporation, they got scumbags in them. Like, it's just, it's just, you know, the way life is. And like, I'm, I'm not going to start my boycott with a screen movie. So I wasn't on that side of the fence anyway. I, I'm glad they're they're re, They feel like they're recouping. They feel like they're regathering and it, they're starting to do things right. I'm not going to get mad at them for doing things right. Well, I'm not so sure about it, man. It, the, the Kevin Williams we, thing we, is a question. We have mark. zero right. proof that Kevin Williamson knows how to direct a movie. You're right. You're right, but we do know that he knows every fucking thing about Scream. He Never has mind. to perform. You're you're right. I'm not going back to teach him a single again, but he knew everything about that. He wrote that. Well, he directed it. That was his pet project. He wanted to get off the ground before Scream. He loved that thing. I don't know if you saw that movie, Mikey. It's fucking terrible. He has to perform. You're right. Wanting to do it and actually doing it are two very... You're right. There's a question. It's not a guarantee, but I couldn't think of anyone else, man. Like, I, I, I think he'll do a good job. He's got a, a very experienced cast. I mean, you know, Courtney Cox will probably still be involved. Nev Campbell's involved. You know, they, there's there's shit there to they where... Stu back. They better not bring Stu back. I'll be so mad if they bring Stu back. Uh, uh, Billy Loomis, even though he wasn't really heavily involved in the franchise, but, you know, they, there's enough know-how there that I feel like they could put a good movie. So we got to, we got to just wait and see. But I, like I said, I'm not going to get mad at them for doing things right. Like we can't start doing that. I mean, I'm not mad at them. I just don't expect it to be any good. Uh, it's better than it would have been. Uh, I, it, I, it's hard, man. Christopher, I love Christopher Landon. Like it does suck that he's not involved. Like it w- the dream scenario would have been Landon came back and uh, Williamson came to, to co-write with music would have been the dream scenario. Sure. I don't know, man. I, I still think that Christopher Landon has the perfect sensibility as a director to make a great screen movie. I do too. I do too, but we don't, that's the thing. We don't know that either. Like his movies, do. he's got like more of a track movies. record than Kevin Williamson does with, with other movies. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're, he's, he's a seasoned veteran, very talented director. Yeah, absolutely. It's it, no argument. And I think he would have made a great screen movie, but even that wasn't a guarantee. So I don't know. We just had to wait and see, but they're moving in the right direction. I do hope they do the right thing by Barrera. I really, truly do. They, they're, that's a done. It, it, hey man, good for her. If she sticks with that. I, I don't care one way or another. I hope if she sticks with it, I'm proud of her, man. Hell yeah. Stick to your guns. But you know, if, if she can, get what she wants out of it and they they better pay the shit out of her they 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 better roll out the fucking red carpet if they try and do it but no if she sticks to her guns good for her too absolutely fuck spyglass though all that being said yeah. still fuck them but i'm i'm going to see a screen like there's just no way around it <laughs> like i'm going to be realistic what if it's in 4d cat um, if it's in 5D, I'll go see it. <laughs> if it's in 5D or they get Melissa Barrera back. And honestly, the 5D might be easier at this point. <laughs> Probably so. What if you get to see it in the same theater that Rob got to see The Exorcist Believer in, Cat? I'll tell you what theater it is. Ooh. It's in Orlando. <laughs> and it's fucking wild, dude. That is that is tempting. <laughs> I'm sure they play other movies, though. I I, I will say, there's like... There's a non-zero chance if I can sneak into the theater, maybe. Uh, if they let me redeem like my free movie pass or something, I, but there's no way that I'm paying to go to this movie when it comes out. I could never be the person who hasn't seen a screen. 
You know, I never like, thought I, I was going to be it. here, but I it's where I'm at. As long as Melissa Barrera is sticking to her guns, I'm also sticking to Melissa Barrera's guns on this. And it's not even I, – I just kind of want to clarify because I, in the past, have gotten caught up in a lot of really dumb boycott shit I, that I, I know isn't going to work. It's just kind of the mentality of, like – when I go to support, when I go to financially support stuff, I, I would just rather it go to the least assholey person possible, I guess. Yeah. Uh, it, it's just kind of like an intentional spending thing more than it is even a boycott thing. Because you knew, like, as, as soon as people got up in arms about boycotting from Melissa Barrera, you knew that they were all going to back down when Scream 7 actually arrived. But I just, you know, I said I was going to not support it financially, and I'm I'm sticking to it on this one. Remember that time Mikey tried to boycott Mountain Dew? I'm still boycott <laughs> Mountain Dew. I won't buy Mountain Dew. I won't do it. I will not do it. That's the only thing. And it's over a goddamn Mogwai. It has nothing to do with their drink. It's Mogwai. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll see. Um, we'll see. Did they announce a, a release date for that yet, Rob? Or month? Not that I've seen, but yeah, I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, I, I sort of read a few quick articles, like right when it was announced, mm -hmm. um, mainly because I wanted to make sure that it was true before I started talking about it. You know, <laughs> right? Um, but I haven't read anything about it or seen anything about it since. That's been my rule of thumb with pretty much anything Scream lately is that ver that right there. Cause yeah, because you don't the first, know. The first place I saw it from on Twitter was I don't remember what the site was, but it was I was kind of like, I don't know how trustworthy they are. Like, I'm sure it turns out they're fine, apparently, but I wasn't sure. But like, then I saw it on Bloody Disgusting. And I thought, all right, so this seems like it yeah. could be real. And then I saw it in Variety and I went, OK, I I've with all the screen nonsense, I've waited at least a couple days to even bother trying to look. Because it's just, you can't get so many, and it's coming from weird sources, some of it, like, like mm -hmm. you said, like it's just, it's too much. Anyway, yeah, so, oh, I just hope it's good. Man. That that's, that's all I fucking want is a good goddamn movie. Like, the, the politics and everything of it, like, it, it is what it is, but I, I just want a good movie. At the end of the day, give me a good screen movie, and you did your job.